Hey guys, welcome back to another Encurses tutorial. Today's Encurses tutorial is going to be part number 7 in my Making Snake in uh, Encurses tutorial series. Today we're going to be talking about the snake and the snake piece, which I'll go into detail about in the tutorial. Um, we're just going to be building the representation of the snake. We're not going to actually animate the snake yet or um, allow the user to control it yet, just because that's a... There would be a really long video if we did that all today, but um, we're going to build the foundation and the basically the snake API so that um, the controller can actually do stuff with it in the next tutorial. Uh, so yeah, um, as always, if you guys like this content, uh, consider giving me a thumbs up. If you want to see these videos right as they come out, um, you know, subscribe down below and turn on all notifications if you want to see it again right as they come out. Uh, feel free to leave any comments or questions down below, and let's just get started. As always, if you guys haven't seen the previous tutorials, I recommend going back to check those out. Um, I'll put a playlist up above to those. Uh, you probably have no clue what's going on here if you don't go watch those, so go check those out. Also, these tutorials uh, assume you have a basic understanding of end curses already, and at least somewhat of an understanding of C++, because that's what I'm writing it in. But you could always also do this in Python or something like that. Um, just you'd have to convert all the non end curses stuff to Python. So, but yeah, um, I'll put a little uh, card up above to my tutorial series on end curses if you're unfamiliar with end curses in general. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's just get started. So, just to start off here, I have gone ahead and created a snake.hpp um, file within our source folder. And that's what this is here. I'm just going to get rid of the sidebar to free up space. Um, so, just go ahead and pause and copy this down. Basically, we just have an include guard. Uh, we're including NCURSES drawable because we're extending it here. And then to uh, class bare bones foundations. So uh, we're going to get started with the snake piece uh, class here. So basically what the snake piece is, is obviously our snake is made up of more than one piece. It might have four pieces or something like that. So um, that's what the snake piece, piece class is going to represent. The snake class itself will have a certain number of snake pieces that it manipulates and moves around the screen, basically. Or the controller will manipulate and move around the screen. So, um, snake piece class is very simple. It's just like all of our other drawable classes. So, it's going to have two constructors. Uh, the first constructor is going to be a default constructor without any parameters. Uh, this constructor is just going to set this y and this x equal to zero. Um, and it's going to set the icon equal to the little hash symbol. That's what we'll be using for our snake. Then um, we're going to create a constructor with parameters. Um, and this constructor is going to take two parameters. It's going to take a Y and an X, like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this X equal to X and this Y equal to Y, like that. Um, and that's it for our snake piece class. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, the next thing we're going to work on is our snake class. So our snake class is essentially going to be a glorified queue class. So it's going to, um, if you're not familiar with what a queue is, a queue is essentially a first in, first out uh, data structure. What that means is um, that it, the first, if you push something onto it, it's going to come out first. Um, and then I guess the way to think about it is like a line at a, a at a cash register. You know, the first person that gets there is going to talk to the cashier first. The second person is going to talk to them second. That's why they call those queues. Sometimes they'll call those lines queues. So uh, our snake class is just going to be a queue, but it, it'll also have a direction associated with it. So as the snake moves along, um, it has to keep track of its direction. Um, so essentially, that's you know our class our snake class is just going to be made up of a queue and a direction. It's pretty simple, um, but we couldn't just use a queue because we need to keep track of the direction somehow. So I'm going to pause here and go ahead and just fill out the basic foundation for the snake class to save some time. Um, and I'll be right back uh, and I'll explain all of it. So see you in a moment. All right, I'm back. And um, so I've gone ahead and added a few things here to um, basically work on our snake class. So first thing right off the bat, we have to include the standard library Q class. This just makes it easier so we don't have to write our own Q class. Why not just use the standard library, which is pretty tried and true. And I know it works. So we're going to include the Q class, which we'll use down here. And then I've also created an enum um, called direction. This will just allow us to easily represent the direction the snake's moving in um, as a variable down here. Um, so if you're not familiar with enums, go check out um, some documentation on that online. Um, but anyways, 
down here in our snake class, you'll see that we've uh, added two member variables. One is the, the queue. Um, it's going to be a queue of snake pieces, and it's called previous pieces. So essentially, if we have four parts to our snake, there's going to be four pieces in this queue here. Um, then we have a member variable called current direction, which is a direction, which again, this enum up here. This will allow us to keep track of which way the snake's moving. Um, so for instance, if the user presses a key, it'll change the direction of the snake, but then that way the snake can keep moving that in that direction until the, the user presses a different key. Um, then we have a constructor, add piece, remove piece, and then um, basically we need to get a reference to the tail or a reference to the head. So this actually adds a piece, this removes a piece, this just shows you what the tail currently is, and this shows you what the head currently is. All right, so right off the bat, we'll work on our constructor. So the snake constructor is actually going to be very simple. The only thing we really need to do is set our current direction. So by default, our current direction, I'm going to set it to down. Um, the nice thing about enums is it'll know that we're referring to this down up here. Um, so that's what this is saying. It's saying reference this down in the enum direction. So that's all we need for our snake constructor. Um, and the next step is to work on add piece. So essentially what we're doing with add piece is we're adding uh, an item to our queue. So in order to add an item to the queue, we're going to say previous pieces dot push. So we're going to push that piece onto the queue. So what this will do is it'll add another piece to our queue um, following the queue order um, that where it's first in first out. And I'll explain, a lot of this will make more sense as to why we need a queue in the next tutorial when we actually do the um, controlling and animating of the class. But for right now, just trust me, we need a queue in order to do it properly. So the um, next step would be to work on remove piece. So removing piece is also pretty simple. Uh, we just want to pop the, so we want to do previous pieces dot pop. Now what pop does is it just removes the last element from the uh, list, or I guess it's the first element. Um, depending on how you look at it. But yeah, it basically it pops an element off of the queue um, and it doesn't return anything. It just removes it from the queue. Uh, so that's the, the difference between remove piece and these down here is these are actually going to return um, what's at that position without removing it from the queue. So tail is going to remove or is going to return. Sorry. For tail, we want to return previous pieces dot back. So that's going to return the back most um, piece from the queue. And for head, we want to remove the front most piece. So previous pieces dot front. Sorry, I said remove. I meant to say return. So we're trying to return the back most piece, return the front most piece. Nothing's getting removed. Everything's still within the queue uh, from these functions. So these don't make any changes here. They just return uh, a value. All right, now with that in place, we have the basic foundation to um, basically do the next tutorial where we actually control the snake. Um, I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope you guys are looking forward to the next one. If you did like this tutorial, consider uh, giving it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see the next one right when it comes out, consider subscribing, turning on all notifications. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave those down below. Um, I promise a lot of what we did in this tutorial will make sense in the next tutorial. Um, I hope you have, guys are having a great day, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.